गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डेटा कंट्रोल लैंग्वेज एंड डेटा कंट्रोल लैंग्वेज मीन्स देर आर टू स्टेटमेंट्स विच आर यूज इन ए डेटा कंट्रोलिंग दू टू स्टेटमेंट्स आर ग्रांट एंड रिवॉक वी कैन से दैट द ग्रांट एंड रिवॉक कमांड आर यूज टू एनफोर्स द डेटा बेस सिक्योरिटी इन मल्टीपल यूजर डेटा बेस एनवायरमेंट द कंसेप्ट इज वॉट ओनली डीबीए or owner of the object so for example if i created one table then i can grant the privilege to other people so if you want to grant a privilege then you can use the grant so what is the use of grant it is used to give the privilege to it is used to give the permission to other users right so other user you can give the privilege to other users we can give privilege at the table level and we can give the privilege at the system level so first we will explore what is table level for example if you have created one table and you want to give a grant to the another user then how we can give the same for example see this is the user that is user is 2020 now this user has one table and the table is student so let me write over here that is set line size 200 and let me select the data for example select star from student this is the record of student right now i want to give the rights to other user that uh, they can access my student table so how we can do this so for example i have another user in the same network right so the user will not be a 2020 but the user will be different for example the user is a u exercise and i'm just entering the password so i'm connected so who is the user user is a u exercise now the problem is what a u exercise cannot access the table of the a u 2020 so we cannot access directly a table of another user so we cannot write like this select star from eu 2020 dot student we cannot write like this because we have no privilege to do this so it says that it is insufficient privilege but eu 2020 is the owner of this table student eu 2020 has created this table student so he can grant the privilege to user that is eu exercise so how to grant that particular thing you can write like this that grant now what is the syntax you can write a privileges so privilege name you can write over here it is a list of privilege by comma separated you can write the list of privilege on which table you want to give so here you can write that on object name on object means on which table you want to give the rights to whom you want to give the rights so to you can write the name of the user for example if you want to give the rights to the au exercise then you can write here to au exercise or you can give the rights publicly to the all the users available in the system or you can give the rights to specific role so you can write here role name also now suppose if you think that whatever i grant to any person that i want that that they can grant to the another people also so optional keyword is there and you can use the optional keyword that is with grant option with grant option means what if i have a rights then i can grant the same rights to other people also right that concept is known as a with grant option but remember don't use this because sometimes what happen whenever you grant with the grant option then they people can uh, grant to another people also and it may cause the security problems right so this is the simple syntax of grant now what i want to do i just want to grant a select privilege so what we can do grant select on which table so in table student to whom you want to give the grants i want to give the grants to au exercise 
So AU exercise is the user can select my data. So this is the simple syntax that you can use over here. Let me copy this. What happens? See, whenever you copy this, you can paste over here. Now the privilege is granted to the AU exercise, and as a result, AU exercise will be able to select this. And I'm able to select this. It means who is the user? User is AU exercise. Now AU exercise will be able to get the data. Suppose if I'm writing select count star from AU 2020 dot student. The table is not still mine. So I have to write the prefix AU 2020 dot student. But I'm able to in, uh, select the data, but I will not be able to insert the data. So suppose if I'm trying to insert into AU 2020 dot student table, right? So before trying to insert, you can just describe AU 2020 dot student. So this is the structure. It means roll number is the compulsory thing. So I just want to insert into AU 2020 dot student and I just want to insert the roll number. So I'm inserting roll number values 109. But what happens? See, I have a select privilege. It means AU exercise have the select privilege, but AU exercise have no insert privilege to do the same. And that is the reason why the error message will be there. That is insufficient privilege. So what we need to do? Simple. You can execute the same statement. Instead of select, you can write insert. And you can press slash. Now what happened? This person, that is, the AU exercise will be, AU exercise will be able to insert the data whenever you try to insert into. So earlier it was the error before granting the privilege. Earlier it was an error. Now what is the biggest advantage? Whenever I write commit, what happens? See, this record, that is the 109, will be available over here. Who is this user? This user is AU2020. If you write over here that is select star from student, you will be able to see that 109 is inserted over here. Right. So 109 is the record that is available over here just because I given the rights to insert the same. But what happened? If suppose if you are trying to update, then you cannot. Now I want to check. Now I want to check this is the user AU 2020 and this is the user AU exercise. Now I want to check that which are the privilege that this AU exercise have and which are the privilege this AU 2020 has granted. So how we can do this? So if you want to retrieve that which are the privilege that this user AU exercise have, right? So for that particular thing, you can write the simple query that is select can write privilege table name from user tab previous received. So whenever you write like this, you will be able to see over here that there are two tables, two privilege over here that is insert and select, and this privilege are on table student. But this is the who is the owner of this table it means definitely this user is a u exercise but who is the owner of this suppose if you want to do like this then you can write here owner and you can check from user tab previous received now you will be able to see that who is the owner of this owner is a u 2020 and who has this particular privilege that is AU exercise, right? Now, this AU 2020 want to see that I have lots, I granted the lots of privilege to many people. Now, I want to check that which are the privilege that I granted. So, instead of user tab proofs received, you can write the user tab proofs made. So, you can write here, that is the query, select, you can select the privilege, so you can write privilege on which table. So table name, 
even you can write the username from user sys not sys user tab previous made so what happens see definitely what i need to write you can describe user tab previous made so to whom you have granted so this is the who is the grantee so instead of username you can write here grantee so what will be my query simple privilege table name here you can write who is the grantee so who is the beneficiary from user tab previous made and you will be able to see that there are two privilege select and insert on table student and it is granted to au exercise now suppose if you think that sir i don't want to grant the insert privilege to this people and this person that is au exercise it means i don't want to give the privilege once you have given the privilege now you want to uh, take back the permission right then you can use the revoke what is revoke it is used to get back the permission granted to the user right so if you have granted any permission to the user and you want that i want to uh, take back the permission that whatever i granted to the user then you can write the revoke so whenever you are revoking you can write the revoke then you can again use the list of privilege name again you can use the on that is object name again you can use but not to because whenever we are granting so we can use the granting to the same way whenever we are revoking we can write revoke from so from whom you want to revoke back the privilege so you can write from and again you can write the username or you can roll back it means you can revoke back from the public if it is granted or if you have granted to the role name then you can get back from the role uh, role also and suppose if it is a granted with the with grant option so whenever you are revoking it will be automatically revoke back with grant option so whenever we are using like this you can write the query like this for example suppose if you want the example that sir i granted the two two privilege that is select and insert now i want to get back the privilege insert how we can do this so you can write the query revoke insert on which table the name of the table is student from whom from au exercise i want to revoke back so whenever you are writing the query like this from which session you can write like this very simple this is the user who is the owner owner is au 2020 so owner can write this particular query that is revoke but uh, you can simply write revoke insert on so what happened now revoke is succeeded and as a result whenever you are selecting the privilege from user tab previous made you will be able to see that now only one privilege is available with the au exercise and that privilege is select and as a result suppose if you are writing the same query over here that is a privilege received so you will be able to see that now only one privilege is there and that privilege is select now students suppose if you think that sir i want to grant a select privilege to au exercise but au exercise also can grant the same privilege to other user also that what i want to do so how we can do the same so very simple see this is the user and the user is you 2020 this is the another user and you all know the user is you exercise now which are the privilege available with this au exercise the privilege is that is only select privilege now is this au exercise can grant the select privilege of this au 2020 to another user for example can i write like this grant select on au 2020 dot student to 
Parad again insufficient privilege. It means AU2020 can access, AU2020 cannot grant to the para. Now I have one more user over here and the user is Parak. Right. Now I want to grant this particular privilege to Parag. So how we can do the same thing? So very simple, whenever you are granting any privilege to user, it means whenever you are writing grant select on student to AU exercise, now you can use with grant option option. So whenever you write with grant option, the concept is what whenever you are using with grant option, this AU exercise this user is AU exercise. Now what AU exercise can do? AU exercise can give the right of that is a select right of AU 2020.student to Parag. So the select is given to the AU 20 uh, AU exercise and now AU exercise is giving a rights to the Parag and as a result what happened? Now Parag is accessing, but what Parag will write? Is it the object of AU2020 or it is the object of AU exercise? So it is the object of AU2020, not the object of AU exercise. AU exercise have only select rights. Now, how can Parag know? This is the user. This is the user. So user. This user is Parag. How Parag will know that this select is given to the Parag? And one more thing, this student is the table. It is not the table of AU exercise, but it is the table of AU 2020. If Parag write the query like this, select count star from AU exercise dot student, then the table is not exist. Definitely this is not a table of AU exercise. This is the table of AU 2020. And it will give you an answer. But I want to check how Parag will know that this is not the table of AU exercise, but this is the table of AU 2020. So how Parag will know? Very simple. Here you can write the Describe the table that is user, tab, previous, and that is received. Now, there are so many columns available. Who is the owner and who is the grantor that you can select over here? So, I just want to select, select who is the owner, who is the grantor, and which are the privilege from user, tab, previous received and as a result see what happened there are so many privilege is given to the para right so now i want to write a filter the query so how we can filter the query and that is where table name is equal to student so now it will be the clear cut idea that the owner of the student table is au2020 grantor is the au exercise and the privilege is select, right? So what happens is student, this AU2020 has granted the select privilege to this user AU exercise, but it is granted with option. So what happened with grant option, this user can also grant the same privilege to another user. And as a result, I'm able to access over here. So this privilege is also granted to the another user. But what happened if you revoke back a privilege from this person that is AU exercise. So suppose if I am writing revoked select on revoke select on student from AU exercise. Can I use with grant option? Can I use with grant option? No. In revoke you cannot use. Now I want to use 
Revoke select on student from a exercise. What happens? See, it is revoke back, and as a result, as a result, whenever you write the query over here, that is select privilege table name honor from user tab proves received. There are no privilege available with this a u exercise. And what happened with this person? That is Parag. So let me write the same query. See. Whenever you are revoking the right from this person, automatically it will be revoked from all the person who has grant given by this person. And that is the wonderful thing available in the Oracle. Now suppose if you think that, sir, I want to grant the multiple privilege. Can I grant multiple privilege? Yes, you can grant the multiple privilege. You can write like this, grant, select, insert. Update, delete on table name that is student. So usually people are writing the on close on the separate line, so we can understand it very well. On student two, you can write the username. So I'm writing you exercise. Suppose if you think that the AU exercise can also grant the same privilege to other people also, so you can write like this. That is two AU exercise and with grant option you can write with grant option is the optional keyword if you don't want to uh, a exercise to grant the other people then you can simply skip this now you can copy the same thing and you can paste into the sql prompt of the user who is the owner of this table so the owner of this table is au 2020 so i'm writing like this now au 2020 want to know which are the privileges that I granted to other people? So very simple. You can use the table, and that is user tab previews made. So who is the grantee on which table it is granted? Who is the grantor? It means uh, grantor is in this particular case grantor is a U2020. Which are the privilege it is granted? Is it grantable? It means it is. Is it the with admin option? If it is yes then it will show the same thing and if it is the with admin option then you can show the hierarchy also now suppose if you want to list that particular thing that is select privilege and who is the grantee so you can write select privilege grantee from user tab previews made then you will be able to see that the select insert update delete rights is given to the that is grantee it means beneficiary is AU exercise now this user is AU exercise so how user AU exercise can check which are the privilege is uh, came back over here for that particular thing you can use the table user tab previews and that is received so here you can check select privilege and in which table it is came so you can write select privilege table name from user tab previews received so you will be able to see that these are the privilege received on table name that is student suppose if you want to roll back the same thing then you can simply write revoke select insert update delete on table name that is student from your user table exercise so it will be revoked back and whenever you write revoke back then no privilege is granted by this particular user and as a result you will be able to see that no rows selected and if you write over here slash then here also you will get that no rows selected so this is the grant and rework up to you can say that is the table level. So why it is table level? Because we are granting the privilege that is select, insert, update, delete on table name. But I don't want to grant the table name and all this. I want to grant the system level privilege. So which kind of privilege is known as a system level privilege? So first you need to understand the table level privileges are which and system level privileges are which so here you can just understand 
difference between table level privilege and system level privilege. Definitely we will look into the system level privilege later on. But right now I am just listing the same. You can say that insert, update, delete, select are the privilege on table. So we want to do insert, we want to do update, we want to do delete. You can say these are the privilege on table name. And which are the system level privilege? For example, do you want to create the user? Yes, you can. So create user is the system level privilege. Do you want to drop any table? Do you want to create any table? Then you can say create user, create table. Suppose if you want to give the rights to the user that they can drop the table. Right. You want to give the grant to the user, they can create the table. Right. So create table, drop table, create session. This type of privilege is known as a system level privilege. Let me give you one simple example of system level privilege and then we will end up with this particular session. So let me connect with the user that is a sys. So that is DBA. So let me connect with the sys as sys DBA. So whenever you connect with the sys DBA, now you can give the grant to the user that they can create something. So I'm just giving the grant to the AU2020. Right now, this is the user AU2020 have no rights to create the user. For example, I want to cre create the user Kuldeep identified by that is Lion. So Lion is the password and Kuldeep is the username. But I have no privilege to do this. It means create user is the system level privilege and this should this right should must be have with this particular user and that is AU2020. Who can grant this particular user? system user that is this dba can grant this particular user this particular right so you can write grant create user to au 2020 what if in au 2020 grant is succeeded now au 2020 will be able to create the user kuldeep and user is created right now but what happens see kuldeep user is created but kuldeep will not be able to connect why? Because whenever you create any user, you need to give the connect right also. For example, let me write here connect Kuldeep. So whenever you write connect Kuldeep, and if you give the password that is lion, now what happens? See, Kuldeep lacks the create session privilege. It means Kuldeep have no privilege of create session. How Kuldeep will be able to do this? So very simple, your user that is sys can grant create a session privilege to Kuldeep. So what happened? Now Kuldeep will be able to log on. So now whenever you write connect Kuldeep and if you give the password lion, you will get the message connected. Earlier I was getting an error. User Kuldeep lacks the create session privilege. But what happened? Kuldeep user is created. Right, but Kuldeep will not be able to create the table. If Kuldeep is trying to create the table, for example, this is the user Kuldeep. And if user Kuldeep is trying to create the table, for example, create table test ID integer, Kuldeep have no rights to create the table. Insufficient privilege. Now, Kuldeep cannot create the table. How we can do this? Very simple. This user, it means the system. System can do the grant. Create that is any table to Kuldeep. Now Kuldeep will be able to create the table, and whenever Kuldeep is writing create table test, right? Now again, whenever you are doing this, now you, there is no privilege available on the table space. So now you need to give the grant on the table space privilege also. So this user is sys. You can grant unlimited table space to Kuldeep. 
Now what you can see, now Kuldeep has unlimited table space. Now what Kuldeep can do, Kuldeep can, will be now able to create the table. So whenever you write create table test ID integer, now Kuldeep is able to create the table. So this all privilege, that is uh, in first Kuldeep was not able to connect. So you can say create session was the privilege. Then Kuldeep was not able to create the table, then create table was the privilege. Then Kuldeep was not able to, Kuldeep has no access on the table space users, then I granted the privilege and that privilege is, that privilege is grant unlimited table space to Kuldeep. So I granted create table, connect that is you can say create session create create any table create any session add unlimited table space to kuldeep now how kuldeep can see that which are the privilege that i have right so whenever kuldeep want to see like this this is the user kuldeep so i'm writing here so user user is kuldeep instead of user tab proofs you can describe user sys privs so which are the privilege that kuldeep have so you can simply write select privilege from user sys privs and you will be able to see that these are the three privilege that kuldeep have create session privilege create any table privilege and unlimited table space are three privilege that Kuldeep have and this privilege is known as a system level privilege. So that's it from my side.